Okay. The first part of this dissection is on the medial side of the leg. And so the first two muscles we're going to find are superficial muscles. The best thing to look for is a blood vessel that goes right down the middle. It's a little bit hard to see in this cat, but it's right down here. And if you peel away some of the fascia material, you should be able to find this blood vessel. This is an important marker for the two superficial muscles. And we're going, these are very thin muscles. The first one is called the sartorius, and I have just barely opened up the sartorius here. I'm going to stick the probe underneath it okay, in order to free it up a little bit. So you can see from the probe that it's a very thin muscle, and it is going to extend down here. Okay. And I should be able to get underneath it here. Then I'm going to go finding the other side. I have to turn the leg over and I'm going to see a place where the muscle separates on this side. That's the other side of the sartorius. So I should be able to get my finger and probe all the way through this muscle and I'm going to kind of pull it up so that I can see where it naturally separates and just embellish that separation a little bit. You can see how thin it is because the black of my gloves goes through. Then on the back here you need to separate it um, where it's natural separation. So you're always, with muscles, you're always looking for natural separations. The word dissect doesn't mean cut, it means to separate. So when you dissect a muscle, you separate it from the other muscles. If you have a little bit of fat, you can kind of clean that off of there. And fascia material also. Okay, so this first muscle here now you found goes from the <coughs> knee region up into the inguinal region. Sometimes in the back here you'll see some fat material and you can remove that so that you have a nice clean separation here. Alright, so this is the sartorius muscle. And now we're going to find a muscle on the other side of the leg. This is called the gracilis. It's right in here. It's going to be similar in terms of thickness. What you do is you kind of push the material aside till you can see a natural separation. So right along there is a natural separation for where the gracilis is. Then after you find that, it's another very thin muscle. So you're going to cut very, very shallow right in here. Just separate at the natural separation line. This one actually is a little bit thicker than the sartorius. And if there are some little blood vessels in there, you can separate them. This middle blood vessel here, though, you want to try to keep that one intact. Hopefully in your cat this will be um, injected a little bit better. This is not a real good injection here. Okay, after you free up this side of the sartorius, then you're going to kind of pull it down. You should be able to see where some of this fat material accumulates. And then there's another natural separation right here. You want to separate these muscles at their natural separation. So you're going to remove some of the fat so that you can see. When you get that fat off, you'll see that there's a very, I can see my black glove again through there. So now you know you're free to cut that. Okay, so this muscle is the sartori, I'm sorry, this muscle is the gracilis. 
This muscle up here is the sartorius. Those are the first two muscles in our dissection. Okay, then in the center part of the leg here, we're going to look for two other muscles. And we're going to be looking for the adductor muscle, which is in this general area here. And we will have to kind of cut through some of this fascia material so that we can see the nice pink muscle there. Okay, when I do that, I can see that there is a muscle here. And this is one side of this muscle here. And this is the other side of this muscle. And I should be able to get underneath it. This is called the adductor longus. Right next to that muscle on the inside, you can see there's another muscle there. That deep muscle, deeper muscle there is called the pectineus. So you have the adductor longus, the pectineus, the sartorius, and the gracilis. All right, for the next part, we're going to go and look at some of the calf muscles. So we're going to look back here. And when you do that, you're going to see that there's, right in this region here, is a glob of fat. If I put my finger in here, I can see where I can cut on one side of it. I'm, this is the big biceps muscle. We're going to work on that later. I just need to get it out of the way now. So I'm going to just tuck it underneath there so I can see the calf muscles. If you remove some of the connective tissue on the outside, it's a little bit easier to see where the muscles are. This muscle right on the shin here, this is the tibialis anterior. Okay, this large muscle here in the back, this is the gastrocnemius muscle. And we need to get inside of the gastrocnemius muscle, so we're going to kind of pull it apart here and look for a natural separation. Okay, I separated a little bit more up here. Okay, so this is the gastrocnemius. This next muscle here is called the soleus muscle. Then there's another muscle right in here. Okay, this muscle here is the peroneus muscle. Then there is a muscle that runs down the side of the leg here. Okay. 
And this muscle is the extensor digitorum longus. So let me show you those again here now. Back here you have the gastrocnemius. And then the next muscle in here from the gastrocnemius is the soleus. Then this muscle down here, this is the peroneus. Then this is the extensor digitorum longus. And then this one on the front of the tibia is the tibialis anterior. Okay, so those are the muscles that you need. Again, from the front, tibialis anterior, extensor digitorum longus, peroneus muscle, soleus muscle, and gastrocnemius muscle. All right, back to the um, medial side again. We're going to look for some of the deeper muscles. So in order to do this, we are going to um, remove the sartorius here, where it's attached by the knee. I'm just going to cut this part here and pull this back. Okay, when you get underneath here, there's some material that you can kind of clean it up a little bit. Underneath here we're going to look for three muscles. These are the deeper muscles. So I'm going to open this up here. to just remove this, cut this a little bit here, get this out of the way. All right, this outer muscle right here, which I'm going to separate at its natural separation line here. This muscle is called the vastus lateralis. We'll be able to see it from the back side a little bit better right here. You can see this much of it here, the vastus lateralis. And then right here, this muscle here, could use a little bit of cleaning some of this fascia material. This one here in the middle is the vastus medialis. Remember middle, medialis means toward the middle. So this is the medialis. And then I'm going to open this up a little bit more here. Okay, so on the outside is the vastus lateralis, on the inside here is the vastus medialis, and then right in the middle here, with the fibers going straight down, this is called the rectus femoris. Okay, so those three muscles are underneath the sartor sartorius. So the sartorius would be the superficial muscle, when you pull that up, these three muscles are the deep or internal muscles. The vastus lateralis is right over here. The vastus medialis is the one in the middle. And the rectus femoris is between them. Okay. All right, we'll put this back and we'll go down underneath the gracilis now. So we're going to um, disconnect the gracilis here at this end of the muscle and we're going to reflect that back and we're going to look for some of the muscles underneath here. Okay, so the muscle down here kind of next near that glob of fat it might be easiest if we just remove that glob of fat out of here altogether. All right, there is a muscle right here, and if I put my finger inside here, I can see where there's a natural separation here. So I'm going to pull this down. Then I'm going to take my scalpel and just I'm just helping it at the natural separation here. The 
This muscle right here that's hanging down is called the semitendinosus. Alright, then I'm going to come up and I'm going to find the next muscle. It's almost easier to just take your finger underneath and then you can look at a spot where um, you see again another natural separation. You'll see that there's a little blood vessel that goes through there, but we're going to just kind of cut through that, separate that out. Okay, this next muscle here is called the semimembranosus. So this is the semitendinosus, semimembranosus, and then 